Because we have to get to a very clear space in you that doesn't belong to past or conditioning, not, nothing, that, nothing that you practice. Just get to that clear space. And the best way to get to a clear space is just leave all those things aside for a moment. Then if you could sweep everything out of the way, everything you can think, just for a moment, huh? then there's nothing more to sweep. Then right here, you know, you're still here. You, you automatically still know that you're here. But there are no references now, because you've left the past and so on. Just be here. And only because you're here, then the questions I can ask you, because in these questions now, the mind will not interfere. So in this point I ask you, what is here? What is here? What is it that's here? What is here like? You know? You, you know you're here, but it's but also there is there is there is like some indescribable like a spaciousness or something. But it's not dead, it's it's quite alive, isn't it? And you're here now. That which is Whatever it is, can can it be touched? Can it be touched? Or you say no, it cannot be touched. Is it an object that you can you know see and hold? No, it's not object. It's not object. Is it is it a feeling you're experiencing? No, it's not. It's not a feeling. It's it's just there. It's just here. You you participated in that. Then I ask you that is there any way that you can record it or or capture it like on a, on a camera, a special special camera, the latest one million HD pixel? <laughs> no, it cannot be captured at all. I cannot hold it. Nothing. Yeah. You're in direct contact with with something that is not an object. It, it's not just a feeling. It's just not a nice feeling or a bad. It's not a feeling. I say, can it experience sadness? Can it be? Can it experience sadness or depression or jealousy? No, 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 not, no, no, none of these things. No, they cannot. Can it be owned or belong to just any particular religious group or any organization or <coughs> philosophy? No, no, it cannot be owned. It cannot be owned. It cannot be used against anybody. Does it depend on your belief? You know, is because you're believing in it why it's there? No, it doesn't depend on belief. Did it did it come from somewhere? You say, no, it didn't come from somewhere. Is there any boundary beyond which it is not? No, there's no boundary. There's no boundary where where it is not. Can it be lost? Uh, no, cannot be lost. Lost? No, can be. There's not a thing that can be lost. Then I ask you, was what was it? Was it was it born? No. You could answer. You didn't think about no. Big one, no. Can it die? Because I asked before, can it fade? And generally, answer: No, it cannot fade. It's it's not fade. Does it have time, like it's evening or or daytime? No, it's none of this thing. Can it die? No. Okay. Where are you? What are you looking at? Where is it? How far away? I want to see where how far. No, there is no distance. No. no distance. Because usually if you are perceiving or looking at something, there must be some distance. No distance. Then I ask you, know, if all you say is true, then what you are confirming and what you are perceiving somehow must be the same as you. Infinite, imperishable, formless, beyond emotions, 
beyond feeling, it's not feeling. It doesn't depend on your belief. It was not born. Body was born. It cannot die. There's no distance. I said, then it must be you. I said, who? How can it not be you? Where is the place for you? How can I recognize something that is no distance? Can it be lost? No. Okay. What to do? What are you keeping it? Are you keeping it? No. Then I asked, simply stay here and just be with it. Be conscious of it. That's all. Then you say, okay, but I felt so, it seemed so easy. You say, it seems so easy. It seems so easy. But, and then I. I don't know what time lapse happened, but you said then I. I felt so it just was so exhilarating. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, the feeling of exhilaration may happen in this body, in it. Can the mind exist outside of it, or apart from it? Fresh question. Then I say, okay, you meditate, something felt a need to meditate up to three times a day. What for? I ask you. Why are you meditating? Why are you meditate? Why are you meditate? And 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 who were you? Who were you in that moment of seeing? Who were you? In fact, maybe all those questions could be reduced to maybe one or two questions, actually. But because the mind needed something to work with, somehow. Oh, no. yeah? okay. And then, as soon as it is found, do you need any more questions about it? No. So, this is a unique case. You say, then it went away, it disappeared. And the observer who observed, it is the same as me, it is right here. Now he's saying it's gone. And in its place, what? The mind is here. Now observing the mind. Like I say, even your fingernail can. Cover the sun, hide the sun. Fingernail. And hide the sun. And a thought believed in is hiding the infinite. Does the infinite stop here and cannot be infinite anymore? Where are you looking? To see the infinite, where can you be placed to be observe the infinite? Actually, only the infinite can observe the infinite. <coughs> 